they just stopped making mini implants. 3M, a reputable company, cold turkey, stopped making mini implants one day, just stopped. And the reason they did that, I suspect, is that they knew what the failure rates were and they saw a class action suit coming their way in the future because it's math, guys. You, it's really difficult to sit in front of a, peer, a, a jury of your peers and some engineer put up some mathematics that says, this implant is extremely weak and yet you continue to produce it, yet you continue to put it in people's mouths and they had a lot of complications. So in general, if you've been doing implants for a while, the general trend in implants is that the mini implants have, have, have started to go away. The problem is there's always a small uh, contingency of people that, that circle back around and pick up on these old ideas and they try to promote them again. I don't know why, but they come back up. So we've seen a little resurgence in people asking, well, what about mini implants? I, 